One time, one time my agent told me that I had a good look. And I'm like, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. But then it took me years to realize that having a good look is totally different than being good looking. <laughs> I still don't know what the f it means. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. I like to eat. I like to eat. When you know when you like to eat. What's weird is people assume you enjoy cooking. Well, you must know your way around the kitchen. I know where the food is. Well, you must love to cook. Look, I like to sleep. It doesn't mean I want to build a bed. Have you noticed that Batman only goes after like the mentally ill <laughs> and like petty thieves and it's like Bane or the Joker and he's like, I'm gonna clean up the scum of Gotham. And you're like, that's a heroin addict. He needs help. <laughs> like maybe if you could invest in the mental health services with Wayne Enterprises, we could actually make some moves in this town and clean it up. In the area that men are expected to shave. This, the, um, the saddle. Did this crazy thing when I, when I was traveling abroad. I, I, uh, I watched the news, which I suggest. Go watch the news in other countries. They do this crazy thing. It's called journalism. It's like, wow, they just tell you the news. There's not like a Japanese flag waving and some like scare tactic. Watch out, they're coming to get you a thing across the thing. There was like an old guy with a weird ear. I'm like, that guy would never be on American TV ever in a million years. But now they want another cue for question. And my answer is no. <laughs> no, I don't buy it. I don't buy the question thing. Listen, I don't judge. Live your life. I don't care who puts what where into who. <laughs> but the moment it goes in, your question has been answered. You gotta take advantage of these, all these, all these like Asian stereotypes. You know, if people are gonna exoticize us, that's fine. Whenever somebody asks me to do something I don't wanna do, I just make up a fake Chinese holiday now. <laughs> it's like, hey, Jimmy, can you help me move next Monday? I'm like, Monday? That's the Dragon Boat Lychee Boba Festival, dog. I can't, <laughs> can't just help you move. My grandfather died for that <laughs> you understand? <laughs> but the French, they eat cheese on a whole other level. In France, they make eating cheese an official course of the meal. So you'll eat an appetizer, then you'll eat an entree, then for no reason at all, you eat a bunch of chunks of cheese. <laughs> then you eat dessert. After that, you go to the hospital. <laughs> And of course, I've eaten chunks of cheese before, just not in public <laughs> or with pants on. You know, my mother, I don't even get her. Overly encouraging. Four years ago, she quit her job, zero savings. She said, Jesus is gonna pay her bills. <laughs> I stand in front of you four years later. My mother has zero debt. She made me a believer because I found out that I'm Jesus. The other thing I neglected to point out in my description, he's 6'3", 6'3", 4", 160 pounds. This is, this is kind of what he... We make it work. When someone's homophobic, they're just admitting they think about gay all the time. <laughs> Homophobia is like when someone farts and immediately blames it on someone else. All my accents sound English, just like, hello, like all of them. Like, hello, I'm from China, oh, yeah. None of them make sense. Oh, that's very good. You and your son, same business, you know? You two are very funny. He's like, no, no, Jimmy's are not a funny. <laughs> I'm like, that. that's bullshit. 
okay? You, you got one good role, good for you, I'm happy for you. But you're not a real actor yet. Real actors, we got to cry, we got to laugh. Do you even know how to cry in front of camera? He was like, yes, I just think about how much you suck at ping pong. <laughs> Of course, Canada is the home of the uh, Caesar cocktail. The Caesar cocktail, you're very proud of that. Which is, uh, Caesar is kind of like a Bloody Mary, but with clam juice. Clam juice, wow, I didn't know that was an ingredient. Or a liquid. Siri has reached a point she doesn't need me anymore. Sir. Siri has my identification information, my passwords, my credit cards. She don't need me, right? I was just looking at the phone, and I'm online checking it out, and Siri was like, oh, do you want a new iPhone? And I was like, well, you know, I'm not sure. I'm still checking it out. She said, no, you need a new iPhone because your phone is gonna stop working now. And the phone just went to just, just done. When did everything become so I'm ugly? Everything had floral and tassels and pom-poms. I was like, I think I've aged out. Can I get a Forever 31? I just... Hi, what did that guy say? Oh, we don't like to wear them because we can't feel anything. I said, it's because you're diabetic. That's why you can't feel anything. Don't be blaming it on the condom. Get your sugars in control. I don't hate men. I love men. I, I really, what I hate is toxic masculinity, which is a set of behaviors that men feel like they have to do sometimes that ruin everybody's day. You know, like when men cat call me on the street, when they talk over me at work and refuse to listen to me, or when they like love Radiohead, stuff like that. <laughs> Things change once you've been together a long time. We've been together a long time. Even how you resolve conflict. You know, because I remember in the beginning when we get in fights, I didn't think the relationship was strong enough to sustain it. You know, we get in a bad fight. I'm like, oh, we're going to break up. That's a bad fight. It's over. <laughs> like, we've been together so long now. When we get into it, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I'm going to see her tomorrow. <laughs> I got an email from my health insurance company. They said, listen, if you're out of town, if you're away from home, if you have an emergency, you can go to the emergency room. Otherwise, dial this number and you can video chat with a doctor. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm down to, video chat, right? So now I need surgery and, I'm, and the doctor's gonna be like, all right, go to the kitchen. <laughs> find a very sharp knife. I was released from the hospital the day after the surgery. They gave me painkillers. They also instructed me to do some walking which I assume was part of the recovery, but it kind of felt like a commentary on my weight. <laughs> Have you ever done any walking? <laughs> Have you ever leaned forward and let your legs propel your fat? <laughs> Let's take a break from your motorized scooter. I have a new boyfriend now. <laughs> he's better. He's very sweet, he's a feminist. Um, well, he's 25, so he's whatever I make him be. <laughs> um, And he loves that joke, he does, because I told him to. Um, 